Elon Musk today has decided to pledge one million dollars to every Pennsylvania voter. And what does this actually mean? Why is he doing this? A lot of people are getting a bit angry the fact that he's so siding with Donald Trump. Love him or hate him, Donald Trump definitely has a lot of attention on him. And likelihood is, he will be the next president. So why is Elon Musk going out of his way to publicly back Donald Trump? Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today's video we're going to explore why Donald Trump and Elon Musk have become a bit of a bromance of recent night. Three months ago I did a video where we talked about the rally just before Trump was shot. He talked about Elon Musk and this is the kind of comments that he made. Elon endorsed me recently the other day actually. He's great. Elon Musk. He's a brilliant guy. Every time I call him he's talking about it. I got a new idea for a rocket. You have to hear this. No, it's true. Now, if that were government, you wouldn't see that for another 50 to 100 years. But it was Elon. But, you know, he's a very advanced person, and he's doing other things that are great, and so are other. We have to make, we have to make life good for our smart people, you know? We have some smart people. We have to make life good for our smart people. And he's as smart as you get. So when you consider all of that, what is going on? Um, Donald Trump predominantly is an oil tycoon. He is declared that he will not be too favorable for EV credit taxes. So you would have thought that all this would be against Elon Musk, but it seems to be that he recognizes that Elon Musk is a genius. He recognizes that Elon Musk is making America great again, as in he is the biggest car manufacturer. They are in full competition with China and the rest of the world. And I think the whole California outfit that Tesla is, is very attractive to Donald Trump. And Donald Trump likes to be in his own way, a bit sort of innovative. I think he is looking to the future as well as sticking to his old lining of his, his friends and their back pockets with the oil and all the back old industries. I think there is a focus on the future and being a leader in these types of experiences with Elon Musk with the full self-driving, the robo taxis, the robots, all of this infrastructure and technology that could be the future, that is the future, let's say, the AI that's all feeding into that. I think Donald Trump recognizes that Elon Musk could be a great partner to have and there's plenty to talk about in today's video predominantly how this will affect the most recent event in terms of the robo taxis tesla's robo taxis are part of elon musk's ambitious vision for the future fully autonomous electric vehicles that can transport passengers without the need of, for a human driver we actually talked about this in one of our videos recently imagine being in a car where you can do anything that you want and the car is driving you from destination to destination Imagine the impact that this could potentially have on so many different industries. A lot of time can be wasted on the wheel driving from place to place. That's why people prefer to do private jets, get public transport, and people like to be chauffeured and drove. So imagine if you could just get in your car and be productive on your laptop, do phone calls, do whatever you want fully in the moment of what your productivity activity is and not having to focus on driving. That's the vision that Elon Musk has for the future. Now, while this technology is cool, and to my opinion, the technology is already there, I feel like full self-driving could be rolled out. It is not just as easy as that, unfortunately. It's still several steps away from actually being completely rolled out and passed in America. Right now, federal regulations in the US limit manufacturers to operate a maximum of 2,500 vehicles without traditional controls, like steering wheels or pedals, on public roads. Tesla hasn't even applied for the exemption permit that would allow them to put those robo-taxis out there. What's he holding back on? Tesla's self-driving technology isn't fully approved yet, and getting the green light involves navigating complex government rules for Tesla to launch robo-taxis at scale. They need a level four classification. Currently, Tesla is only on level two. Level four means it can do anything that a human can do behind the wheel. Level two means you still have to have your hands on it and be fully aware of what is going on in case there is a need for you to manually step in. Now, there's companies like Google's Waymo, and while they've been approved, they use a completely different technology, a technology that really isn't scalable. LiDAR, full sensors, that's their way of doing it, which relies on a lot of different technology. And let's be honest, the cars themselves are pretty damn ugly. Tesla is purely just relying on in the car itself, collecting data through cameras. Bring it back, so why is Elon Musk getting involved in politics? Something that is so controversial, especially when it comes to Donald Trump. I think it's actually a bit of a gamble that he's playing, but I think Elon's shrewd enough to know, just like myself, that chances are Donald Trump's gonna get in. 
Elon Musk has recently thrown his support behind Donald Trump, donating at least $75 million to Trump's campaign at a rally in Pennsylvania. Musk explained that the main reason he's backing Trump is the need for sensible regulations. He's frustrated with over-regulation, especially when it comes to the long process of getting licenses for projects like SpaceX and of course Tesla Robo Taxis. That's really what this is all about in my opinion. I actually think it's a pretty shrewd move by Elon Musk. He's seeing Trump and he's going, if I get you in and support you here and get you on side, chances are you're going to look after me. And there must have been some sort of agreement. And just like the clips that I showed you at the start of this, Donald Trump obviously appreciates Elon Musk too here. Musk is betting that if Trump wins, he'll push through regulatory changes that could fast track Tesla's robo taxis and other ambitious projects like SpaceX Mars mission. It's a high risk, high reward strategy. Something that we like on this channel, high risk, high rewards. If Trump wins, Musk could secure a favorable regulatory environment for all of his companies. But if Trump loses, Musk's political gamble might backfire. Now, let's just put this in perspective. 75 million to a man that is worth billions and billions and billions and billions. It's pocket change. It really isn't a lot of money to Elon Musk. And you have to put that into perspective. It's not like he's putting it all in on this. He's throwing a few quid at it and he's hoping that it'll pay off. But if Donald Trump doesn't get in, this is where it gets spicy because currently right now, Tesla actually got a lot of investigations by several agencies, including the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Department of Justice. Trump's victory could mean fewer regulatory challenges, but a loss might bring even more scrutiny on Tesla's self-driving claims and safety concerns. So if you're kind of back on one side and that side doesn't get in, guess what the other side are going to do? They're going to remember and they're probably going to hurt you for it. So what is next then for the robo taxis? We've just seen a demonstration. There was a lot of good things and there was a lot of unknown things with no real idea of how this is all going to unfold. Musk has promised that Tesla self-driving vehicles will be available in the states like Texas and California as early as next year and I can only presume he is basing that on the fact that he thinks Donald Trump will be in as president. The only way that is achievable is by getting those crucial permits and then scaling the tech up. So only time will tell if this gamble pays off and I would love to hear from you down below. What is your thoughts? Is Elon Musk playing a blinder here? Is he Yes, putting his name out there and associating himself with a very contentious issue in terms of the US politics and especially Donald Trump. But is this the key to getting finally past these hurdles and being able to roll out full self-driving and this goal of the robo-taxis? I personally think it's something that is worth the gamble. This could be game-changing for Tesla. But on the flip side, it could be a massive negative for Tesla if Donald Trump doesn't get in. It's never been so exciting for an election for many reasons, but as a Tesla shareholder, this is something that I am focused on and I am watching very, very carefully. I think there's wider plays as well, like Bitcoin, that is massively affected by Donald Trump. But I think the key one for me is this, Tesla. Is Elon going to be able to get this passed? If he does, then goodbye to his competition. It is full steam ahead because what Tesla have with full self-driving, no one else compares.